sa ato ha mga iligog mga igsuon kang Kristo dinhi sa atong shrine ug sa ato mga igsuon diha sa gawas nga nagabarug o nagasakripisyo ug ang ato mga igsuon joining us via live streaming mayong buntag kaninyong tanan sa tunga usang pandemya we can still pray with discipline and responsibility kay essential service man ang worship sa atong mahal nga Dios kaniya nato gihugot ang pagtuo agahatag kanato ka isog og strength to overcome ang atuhang mga nasinati nga struggles karon salamat kaayo for joining us in this eucharistic worship mga hinigugma kung masubuan ako wala naman ko pamilya no nga direct bitaw nga direct family Usahay, I would be led to go to the YouTube and watch Little Babies. <laughs> Kung makakita kita sa baby nga naga-smile, madula, ah, dula, mawagtang man ang atong kakapoy bitaw, no? So dito, I was moved by one scene. Na a baby who was born deaf. So, bungol ang baby few months pa lang siya, no? They discovered that. And mga 10 months, 11 months, ang iyang doktor nag-intervene by putting in kanang hearing aid bitaw. Mauna ang context sang video. Ang inahan, ginasabak ang iyang baby o ginatulok, no? She was gazing at the baby eye to eye. Then the doctor placed the hearing aid and then the mother spoke to the baby, I love you. May imagine ninyo, I love you. Pagka tulo nga I love you, suddenly nagdako ang mata sang bata. For the first time sa iyang existence, the baby heard the voice of someone who loves him. And then the baby reacted, nag-shake ang yang duwa kakamot, while the baby was looking at the mother. And the baby gave a very sweet smile to the mother. Meaning, nakadungog siya. Nadunggan niya. O ang unang word sa kanadunggan niya, I love you. Gikan sa yang inahan. And how it revolutionized and healed his existence before everything was total silence. He was cut off from the world. He was relying only on his parents. But now, with the words, I love you, nga niya, physically, the baby, you know, suddenly his eyes brightened, he smiled, and he reacted with great joy. Kaanindot, mga hinigugma, to hear that. Kitang tanan gifted with physical hearing, we do not understand that easily. Mga hinigugma, lisod kaayo kung kita, itawag na to mga igsuon nga na ay deafness bitaw because it's connected to muteness. Deaf and dumb or deaf and mute. Actually, sa tinuod lang, dili man na sila mute. O galing, kay dili nila madunggan ang ilang words. Usahay ang pagsulti, lahi kayo o bati ang mga words or sounds that are guttural. So mga hinigugma, kaning bataa, kining baby, the gift of love when the baby heard for the first time the words, I love you. Kung masudlan naton kining nasinati isang bata, Kinisad can describe the encounter of this deaf and mute man with Jesus Christ. He was brought to Jesus and his friends asked Jesus, please touch him and heal him. And here we experience three levels of healing. Number one, we call this psycho-emotional healing. Nga no man, Imbis nga diretsyo giayo, Jesus took him to the side. Si Jesus, gidala siya, no? Away from the crowd. 
What is the meaning of this, mga inigog, mga insuon kang Kristo? It shows us Jesus is compassionate and sensitive. No usahay ang discrimination sa PW2, uh, PWD, dili man ka na no, bitaw nga may malis, no? Pero usahay, may yung taabay, ida siya, bungol na siya. O usahay, may comment sa ilonggo, Gwa, guapa, pero, guapa man tani, pero bungol. Or pwede man sa laki sad, guapo man tani, pero bungol. No, meaning, we frown upon that. Why? Because communication is impossible with someone who cannot hear. So they are often the butt of jokes. Eh kung magtawag ka, dili man na madunggan, they can be misinterpreted as gahi ulo, stubborn, or disconnected. By leading this man to the side, Jesus showed sensitivity and compassion. And by doing this, there is already the initial healing on the psycho-emotional level. That this holy man treats me with respect, accepts me for who I am even though I'm handicapped, and by putting me to the side, understands my own struggles in the midst of people who cannot understand me. This is so beautiful. So this is no accident. Jesus took him to the side. The healing on the psycho-emotional level. Then Jesus did the usual ritual associated with the healing act. Putting his hand on the ears, using even spittle and mud. Here we see that Jesus is engaging in a messianic act. Kining sa ulahi ang mga bungul, gihimo niya ang makadungog, ang mga amang makasulti. If you relate that to the first reading, that is the prophet Isaiah, that the characteristic of the messianic age is that we will be freed from dumbness and our own deafness. So Jesus was declaring, I am restoring you and gifting you with physical health because the messianic age has come. And I am the bearer of that kingdom of God where there is healing for the poor and also for the deaf. And he was gifted with physical healing. Mga hinigugma, lisod kaayo, as I've told you before, ang deafness connected sa muteness. And usually, ang healing sa muteness also is triggered when one can begin to hear. O sahay, kinabataw nga, pait kaayo ko, o sahay, sa patong batanon pa ako na ami kasilingan nga gitawag sang uban nga daw retarded bitaw, pero dili siya retarded. Dili na siya makadungog o dili siya kasulti maayo. Daghang mga tao na suko kaniya, Kaya nga naman, kung may lalaki nga gwapo, mudul siya, tawag ko niya, ngango, ngango, ngango ka. So, nagsuko sila, kay gitawag sila sa katong bata bitaw, nga babae, nga retarded, they thought, gitawag siya, gago, gago, gago ka. Pero because ang iyang speech dili maayo tungod sa iyang deafness, ang gwapo, ang gawas sa iyang bibig, ngango. No, imbis ka guapo, <laughs> ngango. So, we can see here how the restoration of Jesus in terms of the ears can have benefit for the rest of the body as well. And in terms of helping that woman be restored to her social relationships. So, from the physical to the relationship to others, maukini ang gidulot sa mahal nga Diyos. O sa katapusan, ang social healing. You know, kitang tanan din hi, salamat sa Diyos, makadungog kita. Makadungog mo ka na ako. Can you hear me? Salamat sa Diyos. No? Those are little things we miss. We wake up each day, we can still hear our parents, our families. O sa ibis ang gaaway pa mo. Ah, salamat sa Diyos, at is madunggan ko pa siya. <laughs> Mga hinigugma, Pero naa kita gitawag usahay spiritual deafness o muteness. Usahay mapuno na kita sa negatibo o usahay gasarado lang. Para ka sa mga mag-asawa, kung mag-away sila, usahay automatic shut off. 
So, sige pa, sulti si Mrs. Si Mr. Aha. Mm-hmm. Aha. Aha, aha, aha. Pero wala nagapaminaw bitaw. No? Wala na nagalahos. O gusahay, we feel distance from the Lord. Maingon kita. Daw, dilit ako ka dungog sang will ni Lord sa ako ang kinabuhi karon. And the worst form is social deafness. When there is injustice and corruption, do we listen to the issues? Sahay mapuno na kita. But let us listen to them so that we can discern and so that later on we can intervene, especially come election time, or what we can do as patriots of our country. Are we patriotically deaf and dumb? That's a good question to ask now. Kay usahay kita, we have physical hearing, but usahay we have social deafness or spiritual deafness. Kaya nang magbago na, daghan na advice ah, sige lang, next time lang ko magbago, kay ganahan pa ko sa akong sinful habit or pattern. Sa mauni nga sitwasyon, ang ginuusad, gahatag ka natong tanan, the gift of healing on the societal level. So to conclude, mubalik lang ko sa katong baby, nga for the first time gitakdan siya, they placed the hearing aid, and then, kalong-kalong sang iyang inahan, o nagingon, I love you, three times. I love you, I love you. And suddenly, his world changed because he heard for the first time the words, I love you. The baby was healed in a manner of speaking. And the baby received the gift of love and happiness that he heard for the first time. Mausad kini. Kining tawhana nga masakiton. When they brought him to Jesus, he felt the love of God, the presence of God, because healing was felt on the psycho-emotional level, on the physical level, and on the social slash societal level. Mga hinigugma, may we grow to become, number one, like Jesus, be more sensitive to the PWDs. Kung maglinya sa supermarket, ginapauna na to sila? Are we sensitive in our judgment or criticisms to people with handicap? Are we patient to them? Or are we too judgmental? Number two, karon may pandemya kita. Ang physical healing, maong atong giampu per me. Let us also pray for those who are suffering deafness and muteness. And finally, kung kita sad spiritually o socially deaf and mute, we pray for the grace that Ephata, our ears and our hearts and minds, will be opened. Ephata, kung asa ang psycho-emotional deafness. Ephata, kung naay physical dumbness and deafness. Ephata, be open, kung naa spiritual o societal deafness and muteness. When we accept this, the miracle goes on during our time. So help us God.